Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and today I'd like to talk about a new feature that is new at Prisma 2.16, which is Create Many. And Create Many does what you think it might do. It allows you to create many records in one shot. So previous to this release, if you had a set of data that you wanted to insert into your database, you kind of had to loop over the whole data set, creating those records one at a time. Create Many is this new method on the Prisma client, which allows you to just push all all of that data into your database in one shot. And one spot that this is really useful is when you are seeding a database. And that's what we'll take a look at how to do today. And if you want to read up more on Create Many, you can come over to the Prisma docs, head over to the Prisma client docs, and take a look for the CRUD subsection. Now, at the time of this recording, Create Many is a preview feature. So we need to opt into it explicitly. And we can do that over here in this demo project that I've got. We've got our client here and I will opt in to create many. On this client, we've got a contact table. So this is a simple table to store some contact information. We've just got the vitals, first name, last name, email, and phone. And so now we can generate this client. I've already got the database in place and we can start using create many. So we'll do npx prisma generate. Once that runs, we will take a look at the table over in the browser using Prisma Studio. So we can do npx Prisma Studio to fire that up. And in Prisma Studio, we should be able to see the table. So there's our table, empty database right now. We will be storing some data in here using the create many method. So let's go over to our seed.ts file. There is a video that I recently did on seeding a database using the new Prisma DB seed command. I will link that up in the description. For now, we just need to know that we need a seed.ts file in our Prisma directory, and we need some function that will run when the Prisma DB seed command is called, which will do the insertion for us. So I've got Faker here. Faker is a library to create fake data, and we're going to create a set of data here that is going to be stored as contact information. Let's store that on a constant of data and we'll use array.from giving it a length, maybe 100 can be our length, and then map over that. This is sort of the way I like to generate arrays of a specific length instead of defining the array and setting it to empty and then using like a for loop to populate that array. I like using this method. It's a little bit cleaner, I find. So we we need first name, and that's going to be faker.name.firstName. And we need to do the same for last name as well, faker.name.lastName. Then we will have email, so faker.internet.email. And finally, we'll have phone, faker, I believe it's dot .phone, dot .phone number. All right, so that should give us our data sets. And now in our main function here, we want to insert it into our database. To do that, we can simply do await prisma contact create many. There's our create many method. And we can just say, let's create that data. So that should be all we need. And in fact, if we go over into a new terminal now and we do npx prisma db seed, and we say that's a preview feature, we should get the data into our database. So your database has been seeded is the message we get. And if we take a look over here now and refresh, there we go, we've got our data set. Now, one thing that's really great about Create Many is that it really does well if we have even a large data set. So I've got length of 100, but if we change that up to say a length of 10,000, we shouldn't expect to have too much more of a lag when we go to create that data. So for example, we can just run that seed command again, and we'll see how long it takes here. Really, it runs in a couple seconds. Your database has been seeded. Now we can head over and check it out again. Now we've got 10,000. 1100 records. So the create many method is really useful for adding multiple rows of data at a time. And it can be used in the context of database seeding like this, but really it's useful anywhere that you just need to do a bulk insert of data. So we invite you to check out create many, give us your feedback. You can find us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Prisma and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.